John Berger, founder and CEO of Sonova. Thank you for being with us. The ticker symbol Nova, so people can uh, look that up if they would like to do so. You know, an exciting time because a lot of folks are looking at a name like Sonova and saying that it really has good valuation, that sometimes people just jump ship on solar in, in a big way, but you have a lot of great things that are going on with the company. Tell us about the current environment. Well, it uh, is actually pretty good for energy stocks. And, and what you look at for as far as what our business uh, does, and, and just really simply, the utility rates are continuing to go up. And there's a lot of pricing pressures. It's not just fuel uh, co costs, but it's also interest rates and a lot of other costs are pushing those right. rates up. It's a very inefficient system. It's a monopolistic system, a socialistic system, so it's very inefficient. So we're seeing those rates move up. Everybody sees it for their homes. And then we're seeing solar panels, batteries, inverters crash down in price now. So it's really creating this value wedge that, yeah, as interest rates move up, take up some of that value wedge, but as that wedge continues to expand even faster right. than rates go up, we're actually seeing a lot more value. So on average, on a first year basis, a customer is saving 20% on their utility bills and they're more reliable with batteries, again, as those batteries go down in cost. And right. so when you look uh, back, if you'd signed up with Sonova or one of our competitors several years ago, we have some customers that are saving 50% or more on their power bills. So it really is a great time uh, to be in the energy business. And, you know, it's nice that you mentioned the whole industry because it's a theme and how people can have that long-term sustainability and savings. Um, and it's my understanding when I look through some of the analyst reports that you've been gaining some market share and, and things are going in your favor in that way. You also have a recent deal with the Department of Energy, a $3 billion deal. Tell me about that. Yeah, so we're really focused on how do we drive more profitability, how do we increase the pricing, as I've, I've said, and how do we increase the cash flow, increase liquidity. Right. So this Department of Energy deal, what it's doing is, is expanding the base to be able to take in some customers that maybe don't have as that great of a credit, mm -hmm. um, most of which we, we were looking to expand anyways. And they're also taking a cost of capital and dropping it. Everybody's worried about the rates right. and moving up. Sure. So this gives a government guarantee on our loans up to about 90% of the entire capital. Mm -hmm. And so what that's doing is it's, it's expanding the base, yeah. it's dropping the cost, and it's increasing our liquidity because we're inviting new investors that never invested in the asset class before in solar and batteries, and they're coming in because of this government guarantee. In addition, what we're doing is we're aggregating all these new homes and we're, that we have solar and batteries and load management, EV charging. We're putting them all together and we're selling the power back into the main wholesale system mm -hmm. and generating further dollars for our, cons our customers. We're doing right. this in Texas. We're going to do this uh, in Puerto Rico because mainly of the DOE deal. So there is more here to do with this right. new technology and this uh, Department of Energy deal and really helps us do that. Sorry, and that's so that's part of the VPP, right? That's part of the virtual power plants and virtual the pooling power plant. of the customers because um, that's been a concern as people want to switch to EVs or um, do things. The grids just are not ready for it, but you're doing this in a way that can move it forward. Just as people are learning about VPPs, virtual power plants, just explain a little more so people can understand that they can likely count on these in the future because they seem uncertain at this time. Yes, so. It, essentially what it is, is everybody will have solar, batteries, EV charger, load management, maybe generators, and you got them in all these homes and businesses, right. and you want to pull them together so that when each home may does, maybe doesn't need as much of the power, that you can sell that power through mm -hmm. a power company like ourselves back into the wholesale system to somebody else that does need it. So this is what's been going on for really over a century in the wholesale side. Now you as an individual yeah can participate and be a part of the power company and get more money for your, your assets that uh, you have in your home. Yeah. It's a very exciting. And how do we compare here at home to abroad? For example, I just saw um, recently that the French government plans to increase renewable capacity and that helped solar stocks overall. Where would you rate, I mean, the penetration and obviously the opportunity for companies like yours going forward at home, maybe we're not even that far along in this, right? <laughs> 
We're, we're, at, we're at a very early stage, but we're starting to get a penetration that's, uh, you know, it's not infant, it's not nascent anymore. It's starting right. to get a real, to be a real business, particularly in, in some states on the East Coast and the West Coast and the islands in the Caribbean and the Pacific, Hawaii and Puerto Rico, and, and Texas is booming for us now in Florida. So we're, you're, you're right, we're starting to expand out. Mm -hmm. um, and I think, you know, it's really frustrating to see the stock price perform as the way it has over the past couple of years or so, certainly over the past year. But the earnings, if you go back to when uh, took the company public here just a little over four years ago, if you look at guidance at the end of the year that we've laid out, that's about a 700% increase in, in EBITDA over that period of time. And the stock is right down right below the price again. So there's a lot of compelling value out there. And right. there's the, the fundamentals and then the government, as you mentioned with France, but also right. obviously the Inflation Reduction Act in the United States and then China and the rest of the EU. All of that's very, very positive and the fundamentals are there. Again, utility rates moving up, solar equipment moving down, creates that value wedge, that savings for the customer. It just needs to be sometimes, I think, just a little, take a step back and really look at what's going on in big yeah, picture. Yeah, understood, right. because um, the, you do see value in this com in this kind of company, and some of these companies have been beaten down, maybe a little baby out with the bathwater. Thank you for explaining all of that and giving us an outlook. Great to see you. John Berger, thank you very much. Thank Founder you. and CEO of Sonova.